Fred here, welcome back to the Your Obsession channel and what I have here for you today is this beautiful analog automatic winding watch made by a company called T-Vice. It's made in Hong Kong, the company's been around since 1952 and they specialize in watches that are business casual. I got this watch from Gearbest. They sent me it for review. If you are interested, I provided a link below. And it is for the unbelievable low price of $23. And if you choose, you could have it shipped for free. I had no idea that Gearbest had watches like this. I mean, I had reviewed this just recently, which is a smart watch. They have many smart watches. They have electronics which they're known for and all kinds of hobby related stuff and toys and you know but I had no idea that they had such a huge collection of watches including mechanical watches I mean thousands and thousands and thousands of watches mechanical ones too and when I and wow look at this this is a self winding watch so you can see it has that, um, you know, thing that will kinetically or, or mechanically move through gravity as your wrist moves. It will automatically wind it. And you could also see that it has a back that you could sort of see through. You could actually see the flywheel going. And just so you know, if you look really close, you can adjust it. So if it is fast or slow you can open up the back and actually adjust the, adjust it to speed it up or slow it down. Although this has kept perfect time over the last week that I have worn it. Man, look at this. It's beautiful. I've always wanted a watch that had the sun and the moon dial on the top. That's why I sort of picked this one. And it's real quiet too. I'm going to hold it up to the mic. You probably can't hear it. It's one of the quietest ones I've heard. Now it is a, a, a Chinese movement. It's not any kind of Swiss movement or Japanese movement. But it's been working perfect. I am perfectly happy <laughs> with this watch. I really like it. If I spent $23 on it, I would be completely happy. As a matter of fact, like if you go to, let's say you have $23. So you go to Walmart, you get one of them costume um, good looking watches no but none of the dials actually move on them and they, there's really like a, a little electronic thing in the middle like if you were to open one of those watches the the innards would be would be about that big and it would drive just a minute and an hour hand and the dials were were just painted on the face they're not real these are real dials that move look there's see this guy down here that's second now it's kind of weird. You got a second hand here and you got the seconds here, but whatever. You got the hour. So you have a 24 hour hour hand on that little dial there. So if you don't know how to do 24 hours, you can sort of decipher it right there. And of course you got your minute. Hour, second hand, nice classy look. And you can see there's a lot of depth to the face of this watch. And you can see the flywheel. And see, you can see my finger right through there. And you can see one of the the, uh, what do they call it, gems. Back in my day, way, way back, you used to have, it, it would say on there how many gems the, the watch would have. Um, they don't do that anymore, but you could see one of them right there on the flyer. The reason why they have that there is because if it were a metal axle in a metal hole just constantly going like this, da, 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 <laughs> it would eventually wear. So what they would do, or what they do do is put a hard crystal or gem in where the friction is going to happen so it doesn't wear out or it takes longer than your lifetime to wear out so very classy classy looking anyway um gear best holy crap get it instead of going to walmart and getting one of those cheap costume jewelry yeah you gotta wait for it to ship but um it is way worth the wait now stainless steel for the body now this one is rose gold colored it's not real gold not for twenty three dollars please um i had this at work last week and a couple of people questioned my manhood for wearing rose gold i don't care it looks 
freaking awesome. Just look how pretty that looks. Let me cover up my <laughs> nasty looking arm. That is pretty. Now you can see that the crystal has a, a purplish reflection of, from the light. That tells me that there is a little bit of anti-reflective coating. This is tempered glass. Now, when I walk, I swing my arms like a freaking eight. And I've hit this crystal twice against something, against things, against my counter here at home once. And not one scratch. I am very, very impressed. I was kind of worried. Now, this isn't completely flat. You can see it is slightly rounded. And again, I showed you the back. It is waterproof. I don't know how deep. It says water resistant. It doesn't say anywhere on the internet or on this watch. Or this is all that came with this watch, by the way. It only came wrapped in bubble wrap. No fancy box. But it had this attached. So nowhere does it say. And I can't find it. Now you can see that you got to use one of those tools to unscrew the back. Which is a good thing. That You know, it helps... Um, it's better worth tight integrity than the pop-off caps. And real leather band. And it's a beautiful band. Look at that. And it smells like leather. I know it's leather. It's not just stamped leather. It is leather. Now, let me see. I think I covered all the specs. The, the dial size. Now, they say 4.3 centimeter which translates to 43 millimeter but when I measure this dial let me get my uh, super duper super duper ruler I'm measuring 40 millimeter across right there 40 millimeter or maybe even 39 millimeter somewhere around there for the watch face but there it is right there you can see so I think they slightly exaggerated the size if you're expecting a 43 um, maybe the entire case across is 43, but the watch face itself is about 39 or 40 millimeter. Now, for those of you who are weight sensitive, let you see how much this weighs. Looks like about two and a half ounces, roughly. This is not a, a perfect scale there, but two and a half ounces. So, it's a little bit of weight there compared to a, a very plastic lightweight watch. Um, by the way, this smart watch incredible battery life this is the um i know I'm, I'm going to a different watch here but i had reviewed this from gearbest uh, about a month ago the sma q2 smartwatch it's like a awesome pebble replacement this watch has amazing battery life i i i didn't i did not uh pick this watch to review that but gearbest sent it to me and i am so glad they did it's worked perfect and battery life is absolutely freaking crazy incredible, like 45 days. Anyway, getting back to this watch, um, let's uh, go ahead and set the watch. Now, you have a stem. Now, this thing winds up by the motion of your arm as you're, you're swinging, swinging your arm around. That little wheel will turn and move with motion. And then, or you can just wind it just like any other watch and it would wind it up. Now, if you pull the stem out, you could set the watch. And you can see as I move it, I'm going to let you take a look at the moon going up. And then it goes down. As you see there. See, now it's daytime. Sun comes up, goes down. And then we come back to nighttime again. So you can see it, it doesn't do like phases of the moon. Like, you know, some people might think that it actually will cut off exactly how the moon looks on that particular day. No, it just is a wheel with a sun and a moon that just, you know, spins around. It just, you know, I, I don't know. I like it. I like it. I've always wanted to watch that did that. Um, on the stem, you can see it has the logo of the company t-vice and again we'll take one more close look at the watch itself all right it's almost time to wrap things up one thing i didn't do is point out the size of the band that this thing uses so i'll go ahead and do that it looks like it is a 22 millimeter band right there and i think that really covers all the specs 
can't say much else about it. I think I covered everything. The only uh, downside to the whole thing is it does not say how waterproof it is. The crystal is tempered glass. I guess they could have made it out of something a little more exotic, but what do you expect? And um, I don't un I don't like the way that they say it's 4.3 centimeter, which is 43 millimeter, when actually, according to my math, it looked like 40 millimeter or maybe 39 somewhere there. Other than that, I love it. I I personally prefer to have the date somewhere on my watch. This did not, but I chose it. I could have chose something with a date, but I didn't. <laughs> and uh, for those of you who question my manhood, because it is a rose gold colored case. By the way, stainless steel again. Um, I don't care. <laughs> I just like the way it looks. I know I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> And I am secure in my manhood and I can wear rose gold and pull it off. Alright, well thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every friend, viewer, subscriber, and special you. And I hope you have a great day or evening. Take care.